All right, y'all. Hey, witches. Okay, so um, I gotta back up here. <laughs> this is my um, China Hutch, and excuse the mess. I'm still moving everything into it, and um, so right now I have all the my bottles in here. Um, empty bottles, canning jars, and bottles that I've saved. <laughs> it's quite full under there. Um, I still have to um, bottle a lot of these herbs up and and stuff. So um, I've got some more bottles here that I got from TJ Maxx, which I absolutely love. Um, I have to get corks for them and stuff, but... I love them. They're so cute looking. Um, oh, and this one too. So, isn't it pretty? They had different colors, but I was already like way over my budget. And my husband was giving me this guy, so <laughs> I had to stop while I was ahead. Um, but yeah, so I have uh, it's double packed back there with all the herbs. So I have magnolia that uh, is from my backyard. Um, I have mugwort and rosemary powder. Yarrow in the back here that um, I grew myself. I have lotus leaf, um, elderberry in the back right there. Uh, rose that my husband gave me. So it has a lot of love intent into it. And so I rarely use this only for like really special um spells that I do. Um, gum Arabic. Uh, lilac, that's also from my backyard. Lemon balm that I um, grew myself right there. St. John's wort. Um, ginkgo leaf. Lavender buds. And um, these lavender long stem ones I grew myself. The stuff on the bottom is from um, Mountain Rose Herbs. So I did run out and that's why I bought a whole new bag right here um so i'm gonna have to separate this and and um yeah separate it so i also have i'm sorry for those of you who corrected me last time <laughs> on saying this um but i'm probably still not gonna get it right ikantia maybe <laughs> um wormwood catnip that i grew myself uh, tansy back there, blue vervain, um, what's this? witch hazel bark, benzoin gum, chamomile. I always say that, even though it's chamomile or. <laughs> yeah, people at work always make fun of me when I say that too, but whatever. <laughs> Fever few, and then here are some oils. Um, this is from Walmart, and this is, what is this, Wild Jasmine, and Eucalyptus, which is one of my favorite scents as well, uh, Devil's, Devil's Claw Root, um, this is just some extra wax that I had, uh, this one is Ginseng Root, and as soon as I make my, um, my, uh, tags, which they're all gonna have these type of tags on them, the one that Fever Few has back there. Um, I'll probably show another video, but um, right now, just so I know which ones they are, there's Calendula flowers. And then up here, I have the smaller jars. Um, let's see. I've got. Bring this down. I've got raspberry leaves, which I got a whole new big bag, so I'll probably be transporting that into a bigger um, jar. Lavender. Um, those are just lavender, lavender stems, not lavender buds that I got from the grocery store. <laughs> um, sage. Uh, hibiscus that my friend, she had a hibiscus plant and she gave me the flowers to it and I have a whole bunch more over here that I still have to add. Patchouli or patchouli or however you guys want to say that. Um, even though you correct me I'll probably still say it the same way. Habit, sorry. Um, dragon's blood. 
red sandalwood powder, strawberry leaves, eucalyptus, dandelion, uh, thyme, bleeding hearts, bee balm, myrrh, frankincense, um, copal, rose hips, and these are grapefruit, um, what the heck are they called? Grapefruit. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Grapefruit. Uh, crap. And you guys are probably all laughing at me because I can't <laughs> figure out what the heck they're called. Uh, peelings. Durr. Yeah. Grapefruit peelings. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Cloves. Um, and yucca root. And if you guys have ever eaten yucca root, oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh, it, it's, it tastes so good, especially if you cook it right, it tastes like, um, potato, potatoes, so, um, I have some tinctures going here, um, so this is for, uh, migraines, it's ginkgo and fever few, if you guys want, uh, um, to see how I made that, I can show you for sure, and um, I have rosemary tincture right here, and this is all made with, um, the alcohol. So this is about ready to be, uh, to be strained in, in a couple weeks. I can show you that too if you want. Um, raspberry leaves, and, um, I've got grapeseed oil in the back here. Uh, vitamin E oil for when I make my, uh, what are they called? Man, <laughs> my brain hurts again today. Um, probably because I'm not using my glasses, but yeah. Oh, these are, I put, these are um, usually my dog's medicines come in these, and they're like pre-wrapped when they come in there, so um, I just use them to put my um, beeswax in there. Um, Epsom salt, not bad. <laughs> uh, almond oil and avocado oil. And then I've got sea salt in the back, and you guys can get a big thing of sea salt right here from um, from the dollar store. So for this whole thing for a dollar, so I thought that was a great deal right there. I've got black henna because I was um, trying to dye my hair with it, and it um, went horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, it's so messy and and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, I that would probably be it for a further video if you guys want to know more about that. Um shea butter. Um oh, they're for my cuticle um bars that I make. So this is for my cuticle bars and I put oils and stuff like that in my cuticle bars as well. So um I've bought this big old jar. Um thinking I had more uh <laughs> more corks than this, but I guess I don't, but I love, love, love this, this, uh, jar thing here, um, one of my favorites, so, and you guys have seen all of my herbs already, this is my big, um, mixing, uh, motor and pestle, and then I have a little one right here that I mainly use for a whole bunch of things, this is for bigger things, I guess, um, <coughs> Uh, I haven't put anything in this drawer yet, this drawer, um, this drawer is pretty much empty too. Down here I have extra bottles, but I'm going to, um, move my extra, um, extra, what is it called? Herbs that are already jarred and there's too much in there, the excess, I'll be storing in this little cupboard right here. And, um, I like to use these bottles because you can just peel off these things and, um, reuse them, especially the Bacardi ones with the little bats on them. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, my dogs are just pushing me around. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. There's my puppies. Excuse my mess. I'm moving everything. Look at, they're all crazy. <laughs> okay, go guys, go. That bean bubbas. 
Okay, so uh, you guys have seen that already. Um, so yeah, basically this is um, what I got. And I uh, still have to do all of that there. Got a lot of work cut out for me. So um, if you have any questions or anything, um, let me know. And uh, have a great day and blessed be. Bye-bye.